Hey there, everyone. Welcome. Glad to have you here with me. AJ's not in the house today. She's with her mama. So we are solo on this project. And what we're going to be doing is uh, we're going to be uh, airbrushing today. And all of these pieces you see in front of me need to be airbrushed in brown. Let's get her. Welcome. Welcome to the Iron Horse Route, home of the Denver and Rio Grand Western. This is Brian. I'm glad you're here. And if you're not already a subscriber, I want to encourage you to subscribe. Because when you're a subscriber here, you get access to a lot of great model railroad video uploads. And so now that you're subscribed, we invite you to sit back, relax, and enjoy today's video upload, which is coming up right now. Let's get ready to they go, they belong to, well, it's four different models, actually. You got a uh, T-scale Uncle Digger's cabin. You got a, another T-scale Uncle Digger's cabin. You got a, a T-scale water mill. You have a N-scale water mill. And some of the accessories to the N-scale water mill that are also brown. Um, I do T scale and 1 to 330, which is Christmas Village size. Um, those are the real small ones. And in T and Christmas Village, I'll paint those any one color, but they're so small, I don't do the fine brushwork. I just send them to customers with one color painted. Um, when you get up to Z, in and table game in 1 to 40 1 to 144 I do uh, two colors and so this guy right here will be uh, actually the base and there's in the roof and everything will be in this gray and all this is going to be in brown too uncle digger's cabin's obviously going to be brown it always is usually unless somebody requests something different so all this is going to be brown today we cleaned the airbrush prior to beginning in hopes that we don't have to say lots of bad words. Gracie's saying hello. And we're going to use this old yet clean brush to mix our paint. We've got burnt umber. And this guy just needs to be um, fine tuned around some of the bottom edges. I assume the customer will be painting that uh, gray, but. Uh, I want to get a good base color for them. You don't need a ton of paint. I use 50% paint. What I try to make is 25% alcohol and 25% water. And then I mix. That's a little thin for my taste. I like to use glass to mix and I like to use a round because it's easier for me to stir because I want to make sure that I get all the clumps out if my paint is mixed well. The flow of my airbrush is so much cleaner. And when an airbrush flows well, it paints good. Main man Claude provided the airbrush. Got a great deal. He gave me a great deal on it from an auction. Let's see here how we feel about that. That's better. That's dripping, not streaming. That's what I want. What I try to do is when I get the paint, I want it to drip. I don't want to stream. Um, 
even a little uh, more drip and less stream would be good on that, but this is probably good. Don't want it too thick, it won't cooperate. <clears throat> All right, so what I, I have all these um, down with glue dots. All my models come on these rafts. The Uncle Diggers isn't on them, but and then um, it's easy to paint, and then um, I just break them off. So what we will do. Start with a really light first coat. And what we do is we want to let that get on there and dry. And once it, it doesn't take long either because of that alcohol in there. And then what happens is once it dries a little bit, you can lay it on a little heavier. it'll have something to grab a hold of other than the resin or the plastic. So these are resin prints right here. And this is filament. So what I'm going to do is make sure I got it. Yes, I do. And we're just going to see much better in a moment when I'm doing over the gray. I'm going to come back to this. Now, Alright, same deal. I'm going to lay
All right, everybody, we are back. We ran some alcohol through the gun to make sure the nozzle was clean and clear. And we mixed a little more paint. Get that alcohol out of there. A little bit of me. I didn't want it to clog. That is paint. All right. Now, what you got here is this thing, once it dries, will be ready to broke, break, get broken off. Now, I'm going to put those along with the bases, the chimney, window frames. And the roofing right that goes with this and this and we'll be assembling that in the next video which should be coming out on a Thursday at 10 a.m. after this one thank you very much for joining us if you're not already a subscriber we want to encourage you to subscribe don't forget to click the bell icon and share this with your other modeling friends we appreciate you taking the time to watch our videos we would definitely appreciate it if you smash the thumbs up button for us. Leave us a comment below so that we know that you were here. And thank you very much for joining us. Take care. Have a good one. Let's get it.